Hi there, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome or welcome back. Today we're going to do some Dollar Tree DIY crafts on a budget using Dollar Tree stickers. I love these stickers from the Dollar Tree. They're kind of 3D and some of them have words and some look like wreaths and I've got this little hinged house with a plaque next to it. I'm going to take my screwdriver and I'm going to take the hinges off and then I'm going to turn it over because I'm actually going to use the back. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. I took about two, three coats on both pieces and then I'm going to sand down very lightly just to have a nice smooth surface. On the house, I'm going to take this little home sticker. I'm going to take the foam tape off the back and I'm going to put some Mod Podge down and then lay that down. It's still 3D even without that foam piece in the back. The little wreath on the front is just slightly lifted up and I'll lay a little bit of Mod Podge over that as well. I think that's just really pretty. This one's going to be pretty neutral. And then I've got this sticker, Our Family's Gathering Place, and on the bottom it says sit long, talk much, and laugh often. And I'm going to cut those out into little pieces, including the little separator kind of things. I'm going to position them on the little square plaque, and then I'll take off the backing and place them on there. And I just think that this looks really cute. Very simple, you know, not too bright or colorful. Like I said, I'm going to keep this one on the neutral side. That way it could be used all year round. I'm going to cover those stickers with Mod Podge. I'm going to take my Burnt Umber paint by Apple Barrel and I'm just going to paint around all the edges of both of the house and the plaque. I've got this little plant from Ikea and I always just pick little pieces out of it and I use it for little greenery. And then I've got this moss that looks like it's on a piece of burlap. I'm going to cut a rectangle out. I'm just going to hot glue it to the very bottom of the little square plaque. Once that's on there, I'm going to take some little pieces from that other plant from Ikea. I'm just going to hot glue them in place so it looks like there's little plants growing out of that grass. Then I've got these other cute little plant things. I think they came from maybe Target from the Dollar Spot and on another little greenery piece. And I'm just going to put a couple little and just add a little dimension to it. Then I'm going to take that house and I'm going to use some E6000 in hot glue and I'm going to attach it right at the top on top of the square plaque kind of want that layered look. And once this is on there, I'm going to take some craft paper and cover the back so you don't see what used to be there. I like to finish my signs whenever they look like they need to be finished. And I'm just going to add a little hanger made out of twine. It was so easy and it's just so neutral and I think it would go anywhere. I think it just looked great and I love it. And I hope you do too. I think this one might be my favorite today. You'll have to let me know if you think so too. Just love it. this metal watering can that's on a piece of twine to hang from the Dollar Tree. I think it's so cute. And then I've got this packet of stickers and they say some really cool things and I, I just love them. I, they've had so many cute stickers like this, kind of 3D. And we use the one in the top left corner that says Our Family Rules. I'm just going to cut it out. And then it's got that piece of foam on the back, like a foam tape. And I'm going to let it be there. I'm not going to take this one off. I'm just going to position it right in the middle of the watering can. I'm going to get rid of the hanger for the moment just so that I can work with the glue and everything without messing it up. Then I'm going to take some faux flowers and I'm going to pick the ones I like. And I've got these peonies from Amazon. They're in my Amazon store and they're my favorites. If you're interested, you should go check them out. Great price too. And then I've got this really pretty yellow flower. I think it's a dahlia from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to cut off the little pieces at the end so they don't stick out. And then I'm going to hot glue the leaves right back on. And once those are glued on, I'll be able to glue the whole thing onto the watering can. I just don't want it to be too raised up. It's already three-dimensional, obviously, as it is. So now I'm going to get that hot glue all over there and I'm just going to put this on the smaller of the two flowers. So I want to bring this to life and make it more, you know, like I said, 3D. And then this gorgeous, oh my gosh, this gorgeous peony. I'm going to take off the leaves. I'm going to glue these separately because I didn't want to stay as easily. So I'll just hold those leaves down and then I will add the peony right to the center of it. I do add a couple more leaves and a couple more little floral pieces that came with the peonies just to add a little more texture and dimension and I love the combination of all these flowers together. I just think it's so cheery, so spring. And then you've got the metal, you know, watering can. It just, I love the combination. I just think it's so bright and fresh. Mm -hmm. 
I know some people would put the things that are going to go underneath on first, but I like to see the main pieces and then build around them. So I don't mind scooting them off to the side just to fit something in. But I feel like you can tell how full it's going to be if I build on top of each other. It looks almost too, I don't know, perfect. I kind of like the way it looks like it's just kind of growing naturally into each other. Anyway, that's just my way of looking at it. I like that look. Let me know how you like to put flowers on if you have a like a way that you do it, you know, or you just put them on and don't worry about it. Whatever way is fine because we all need to do things the way it suits us best. I put the hanger back and that's it. This one's done. This is probably my favorite or second favorite between, I, I love this one too. Maybe it's a tie. Let me know what you think. Just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time. Don't I got this thankful Dollar Tree sticker. Actually, I don't end up using it, but you'll see what I do. And this really gorgeous wooden watering can with the little wood cutouts. I am going to use my heat tool and just heat that up and use a little spatula and take them off. I get off as much as I can and then I just go ahead and sand it. Sometimes they come off so easy and not other times. I'm going to use my Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint and I'm just going to paint that base of the watering can and a little bit around the flowers. And then I'm going to use several different Full Guard Apple Barrel type colors. Got a turquoise and a pink and then I'm going to use a yellow. I'm just going to start painting the flowers just different colors. I want them to be really bright and vibrant and then this beautiful bright green for the leaves. I've also got a sage by the home decor line of plaid. I'm going to do that one other leave there. And then I've got these little paints that came from a little wood kit that I got. And I never used them, but I saved them. So I thought, oh, I'll just use those. And there are my flowers. And now I'm going to create a faux galvanized look using the steel chalk paint, the black paint, and then this brushed metal silver. And I'm just going to start dabbing. So I'll put a little on the brush, dab it off on the paper, and then dab it all over the watering can. You've probably seen me do this before on my channel. I love this effect. And now I'm putting some black on. And I did get a little heavy handed with the black, but no problem because I can just take the brushed silver and go over it. Or if I wanted to add a little more white back, I could do that. But I'm really happy with the way it looked. I really, really love this so easy to do. Then I just took a baby wipe and I wiped off anything that got on the flowers. I've got these little round pop-up stickers and I'm going to put one in the center of each of the three flowers on the bottom. It was really too small to put on the larger flower. So what I did was I found this little sunflower sticker from the Dollar Tree and I cut it out and I put it in the center and I thought that looked really cute. It almost makes the whole thing look like a sunflower and like that's the center. Got this really beautiful 3D, grateful, thankful, uh, blessed kind of a wreath looking thing from the Dollar Tree. I've used them before. And I'm just gonna put Mod Podge down over the entire thing. And then I'm gonna place that little 3D sticker kind of wreath looking thing right in the center. It's so pretty. I'm gonna put the Mod Podge over that as well. That way I can make sure it's going to stay and it's just gonna look like the rest of it in that regard. This was such an easy project to do. You could paint the flowers any color you want. You could paint the watering can any color that you want. Then I'm going to add the little twine back that it came with, and that's it. So easy, so cute, and ready for spring. What do you think about this one? Just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? This is the easiest. Oh my gosh, this is so easy. I've got this little like jar that I got at Ikea. It came with three of them. It was really inexpensive. They have some great things like that. And then these are Dollar Tree stickers. And I'm just going to take the one out that says smile. Now over by my coffee bar, I have things that are very rustic. So this is going to go over there. And I think I'm going to put like Truvia or something inside of it. So I'm just going to take this little smile sticker. And it's got that kind of rustic look and feel to it. I'm going to put it right in the center. And once you know, when I set it down, it wasn't perfectly center. But you know what? That's the way it goes, right? <laughs> And then I'm thinking that silver lid is just not going to work. So first I'm going to take a little bit of this golden white twine and regular jute twine. I'm going to kind of double it up and I'm going to wrap it around the mouth, you know, or where, where kind of like the threads are at the very top where you put the lid on. I'm going to wrap it around. I think it's three times. I just go around and around. 
And then I'm just going to tie a very simple shoestring bow. I just want it to be very simple and to fit with that kind of rustic feel in my coffee bar. And once I make the bow, I'm just going to kind of twist it around until it's facing the way I want. You know how sometimes one side goes one way and one goes the other? So I'm just going to do my very best to make them look centered. And then I'm going to trim the little twine pieces. I'm going to take the lid to this little jar and I'm going to get my burnt umber paint by Apple Barrel. And I'm first going to kind of just paint all over it with that just to kind of tone down the silver. This is not like a full coat. I'm just like getting it on there. Once I do that, I still think it needs to have just a little more character. So I'm going to take my rub and buff. I use the European gold. That's just the one I have. They have so many different ones. I'm going to take a little art brush and I'm just going to start dabbing all around that lid over the brown, you know, the burnt umber. And that did it. That gave me exactly the look I was going for. And this could not be easier. Let me know what you think. I know you can definitely do this for sure. I love how it turned out. Just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know? Thank you so much for watching. You are a blessing to me. If you enjoyed this video, I have another one on the screen that I think you will really like. So go ahead and click on it. And if you do, I will see you there. And be sure to tell me which DIY today was your favorite. Bye. I've been out on the streets where the lights are red. I've been hiding the world safely in my head.